Arguments. Every philosophical essay revolves around an argument. In the simplest type of essay, the critical exposition, you reconstruct some other author's argument, and then you devote the rest of the paper to stress testing that argument. In the most ambitious type of essay, the original argument, you offer your own argument for some thesis, and then you dedicate the rest of the paper to showing that it withstands the best challenges that you can bring against it. No matter what, when you're writing a philosophical essay, some argument is going to take center stage. When you make an argument, you always have two options for how to proceed. One option is to reconstruct the argument in standard form. If you take this option, then you follow the steps illustrated in my tutorial on reconstructing arguments. And if you haven't seen that yet, I encourage you to go and look at that playlist. As I discuss in that tutorial, the simplest way to show that the discussion follows necessarily from the premises is to fit the argument into a common argument pattern, such as a modus ponens, or a modus tollens, or a disjunctive syllogism, and so on. If you put the argument in standard form, the result will look something like this. You're going to have the first premise, the second premise, and then the final premise in your argument leading up to the conclusion that follows necessarily from all of the other premises in the argument. So that is an argument in standard form. Now, some people won't want to offer a formal reconstruction of the argument in standard form. That's fine, and nearly everyone will avoid doing so in some cases. Sometimes it just won't feel right in the particular paper that you're working on. In those cases, you can just take the second option, present the argument in standard prose. If you take this option, it's still very important to make clear that you're presenting a valid, non-circular argument with the most plausible premises possible. Once you've reconstructed the argument, or concisely presented the argument in standard prose, you have made it clear that the argument is valid. That is, that if the premises are true, the conclusion must be true. What you have to do next is to show that the argument is sound, that the premises are true. To do that, you need to take the reader on a walkthrough through each premise. This is really vital work. It's fundamental. You have to do it every time you make an argument in a philosophy paper because the walkthrough is designed to show the reader that each premise in your argument is plausible, that there's good reason to think that it's true. So you start by walking through the first premise of your argument. A premise walkthrough requires that you restate the premise, define the key terms in the premise. If there's any terms that aren't intuitive or automatically known by your reader, you'll want to define those terms. You want to indicate who in the field is sympathetic to the premise and you want to indicate whether the premise is especially contentious to an opponent. So basically, you just want to explore the controversial premises, explain why particular authors have problems with them, and then try to show that even though people have these problems with the premise, it's nevertheless a plausible premise. And you want to repeat that process for each premise in your argument. Of course, you don't have to do a walkthrough for your conclusion because you've already shown that the argument is valid. So if you show that each of your premises is true, you know that the conclusion necessarily follows from those premises and must also be true because you've shown that your argument is valid.